which you can see is the other massive problem with having VSync off and just get the vertical tear. This guy is actually what a lot of people think of as perfect. It's running at over 40 frames a second, and you know you're getting a really bad experience because you're seeing tearing. But what you may not yet realize is that you're still stuttering. If you just watch the column as it comes around, you're going to see it pulse on every strip. Right? And that pulsing is because you're still synchronizing to the monitor. You're just synchronizing more different frames, but they're all wrong. Right? They're never actually representing the real animation. And on, the, on this side, if I click here and I zoom out a little bit, and then I start rotating, what you'll see is even though the frame rate's varying, you know, dramatically, this is varying faster than most games do, you still see smooth animation with no tear. So can this demo do more than 60? Yes, it can. Can you show something like 90 or something? Like like halfway 60 and... This is now varying between 70 and 40. Because I, I, I built this demo with a timing loop in the main loop. And it's just a delay loop. So this is one of the first times I've ever seen an application that you can control the render time. Yeah. And we're doing it with just a delay loop in the main render loop. So I can vary it uh, between a min and a max, right? This is now going to be running around That's 70 really frames a second, yeah. where you can kind of move them together down to 40 frames or 30 frames a second. So it's really kind of cool. We've never actually played with an app like this before. But that should be, that's at the max rate of the card. So the card, it's a, it's a what is this? It's a 760? 660. 660. So 660 tie. So, you know, this particular render, it's not able to go faster than about 80 frames a second. Why did you choose that card to Well, because it's, it, it, helps, it helps to show the most difference when your, your frame rate for games is varying between 30 and 60. Right? Now, we can change the settings of any game to get you into that range, but a lot of people no, have but what, 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 what a lot of people say on the forums is if I already have like a 120 hertz monitor and mm -hmm. I have like a badass graphics card that mm -hmm. can actually... Drive it. Drive it. Yeah. W w what do I get then? Like as less an benefit. Yeah, but the way to think about it is you're still left with the choice of VSync on or VSync off. Yeah. If you turn VSync off, even at 120 hertz with a badass monitor, you have tearing. Yeah, I I, I, I totally you, you get yeah. the theory behind yeah. it because. If but you, but I'm I'm interesting to see how big the difference is. The bit the difference with VSync off is dramatic. There's no doubt about it. Okay, so you kind of see that, and now on mine, kind of nice and smooth, right? Smooth, easy, easy peasy, and then chunky. I think that's pretty clear. So what you're seeing is a, a pattern. It's at 45 frames a second, which means it's dropping one and three. It's it's basically able to keep up one and three. And 40, most people think that 45 frames per second, that's pretty damn good, right? So I think people are going to be shocked when they realize that you know, there's a much better, this is pretty good, but I don't care what you say, this is way better. It just feels real.